Welcome everyone to Ask the Experts. I'm Tim Messagy, and today we're going to be talking about HBM4 with our memory expert, Nadish Kamath, who is Director of Product Management for Memory Interface IP at Rambus. Nadish, welcome back. Thanks, Tim. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me here. And to everyone online, hello, and looking forward to another Ask the Experts video. Great. Nadish, thank you for being here. Why don't we kick it off with a question? Memory technology is really evolving at this unprecedented rate, and that's particularly the case for HBM. What's behind this rapid evolution? Thanks for the question, Tim. Today's applications are evolving from using machine learning to more generalized AI and pose critical performance and efficiency challenges for the underlying compute. AI and HPC infrastructure uses GPUs and AI accelerators extensively to address these demands. This is one of the main reasons that HBM4-based systems are proceeding to incorporate these evolving standards at a more rapid pace compared to past HBM standards. Secondly, HBM has been a niche portion of the overall DRAM market. The rapidly growing demand for HBM has resulted in many HBM3 memory vendors declaring supply sold out through 2025. As a result, any new SOC design starts are taking a serious look at the next generation of the standard, namely HBM4. Overall, both these trends are providing great demand for HBM4 in SOCs and uh, AI and HPC infrastructure. Nadish, the HBM4 standard is currently in development by JETIC. What do we know so far? HBM4, as it's being worked on at JETIC currently, is set to introduce a doubled channel count per stack compared to HBM3. And therefore, this such a device would have a larger physical footprint. To support device compatibility, JDEC is working on the standard such that a single controller can work with both HBM3 and HBM4 if needed. Different configurations will require various interposers to accommodate these differing footprints. As JDEC standards evolve, eventually they would come out with a full release of the specification, which is expected very soon in the near future. Nadish, given what you just talked about in terms of what we know about the spec, what does that imply in terms of capabilities for HBM4 systems and what will be some of the implementation challenges? Great question, Tim. HPM4, as it's being worked on at JDEC currently, will specify 24 gigabit and 32 gigabit layers with options for supporting four high, eight high, and all the way through 16 high TSV stacks. The JDEC committee has initial agreement on speed bins up to 6.4 Gbps with discussion ongoing for higher frequencies. Doubling this channel count introduces three implementation challenges. The number of IOs to the memory device doubles and results in packaging complexities. Second, the increased channel count also increases power density and that can impact 3D packaged solutions greatly. Third, and a related impact are the associated thermal management and DRAM refresh management challenges. As usual, the memory industry will evolve to address this with 2.5D and 3D packaging and thermal innovations. Nadish, Rambus has announced a controller for HBM4. What capabilities does it bring that helps address some of these implementation challenges that you, that you talked about? Rambus Engineering brings a lot of innovation to HPM4 controller design. The main challenges for the memory controller revolves around managing 
the complexity of data parallelism at the higher speeds. The HPM memory controllers have reordering logic that optimizes the outgoing HPM transactions and incoming HPM read data to keep the high bandwidth data interface efficiently utilized for a given performance and power target. The second challenge, as I mentioned in my earlier response, is thermal management. With higher performance requirements, HBM memory controllers have to effectively cycle through memory dies to avoid thermal hotspots. Additionally, the host system is provided mechanisms for readout of the thermal condition of the memory diet. And this helps manage the overall system effectively in thermal uh, parameters. The third challenge for HBM memory is the high quality production testing of HBM in a system. Rambus HBM controllers address this challenge by providing memory test and debug logic to not only test memory at real-time data rates, but also for diagnosing any transient problems in the system. Thank you, Nadish. Final question. Why should customers choose Rambus for their HBM4 designs? Thanks for the question, Tim. The Rambus memory controller engineering team has more than a decade of specialized expertise. This revolves around designing high-performance IP such as HPM and GDDR with more than 150 design starts in both of those technologies. In addition to designing to the JDEC requirements for HPM4, Rambus also provides added value by customizing designs for higher performing compute systems. Telemetry features that enable real-time debugging or diagnostics of a system performance are an example of such customization. Rambus also works with PHY memory vendors to ensure any new PHY releases are fully tested out and supported for our end customers. Customers can learn more about the Rambus solution for HBM4 by visiting our website or requesting a product brief from our sales or field team. Thank you, Nadish. And for everyone who joined us here today, thank you for your time. We'll see you back real soon right here on Ask the Experts. Thanks, Tim, for having me and for everyone joining in. It's great to see you again and looking forward to the next video.